journey from light to darkness and back again. In a small town in Manchester, there lived a man with learning disabilities named Jack. He was a kind-hearted soul, always with a smile on his face. Jack had a loving family and a comfortable home, and he cherished every moment spent with them. But as life sometimes goes, change was on the horizon for Jack. With a mix of excitement and anticipation, Jack packed his bags and bid farewell to his family. He was off to a new home, full of hopes and dreams for the future. Jack was told that he would learn to be more independent in his new home. At first, Jack's new journey seemed full of promise. He was eager to explore his new surroundings and meet new people. But as days turned into weeks, Jack's excitement began to wane. The food portions are so small at his new home, and when he asks for more, the nasty man says no. Slowly but surely, Jack's world started to crumble. He faced challenges he never expected, enduring hardships that tested his resilience. Cuts and bruises appeared on his body. The nasty man never lets him watch what he wants when he asks and says it's not Jack's choice, but his choice. His financial situation grew dire, and he found himself feeling more isolated and alone than ever before. As time passed, Jack's once vibrant spirit began to fade. Lost in a world that seemed determined to break him, he felt like a shadow of his former self. But just when it seemed like all hope was lost, Jack had the courage to speak out and let his family know what has really been going on in his new home, and told them that he wasn't well liked by a certain staff member, and that sometimes the nasty man gets angry very easily and hits him. Jack finally opened up to his family about how he was receiving the bruises on his body. Jack tells his family that the nasty man from his home wouldn't let him hold his own money anymore, and he tells him what he can and can't spend it on. Jack asks his family if they really love him, because the nasty man at his home has told him they sent him here because they didn't love him anymore. Jack was scared, but he found the courage to tell his family exactly what had been happening to him in his new home. Jack, with his family's support, took the relevant steps and contacted the local authority safeguarding team and realized he wasn't alone and that support was there. The nasty man never appeared in Jack's life again. Come join us in standing up for safeguarding where everyone's safety matters. Through the lens of individuals with learning disabilities, 
we're showing why it's so important to protect and respect each other. Let's build a world where everyone feels safe and heard. Safeguarding isn't just something we have to do, it's a promise we make to each other. Let's walk together towards a future where everyone is treated with kindness, dignity and respect.